Hello Smart 7 Engineers, I am Engineer Masroor and you are watching Engineering Network YouTube channel. I am back with another important topic. So in today's video lecture, our topic is how to do rough cost estimation of a house whose surface area is 1200 square feet. Now in this video lecture, I will teach you how to find out the construction cost of a house. How to find out the cost of water supply or sanitary system in a house, the cost of electric supply and the cost of gas supply. Okay? So kindly watch this video completely so that you have a clear idea about how to do the rough cost estimation of a house. Now before I start this video, if you find this video informative, then please click on the like button. Share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel then please click on the subscribe button and also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. So let's start. Ok, so our topic for today's video lecture is rough cost estimation of house. Now here remember that this cost estimation is only applicable in year 2020. Ok. So if you watch this video in 2021 or let's say in 2022, then you cannot use this rough cost estimation. Okay? The reason is the unit rate of construction cost increases with the passage of time. Right? Now as you can see this is the house for which I want to do the rough cost estimation. And the total surface area of this house is 1200 square feet. Ok? Now we know that in 2020, the unit rate of construction cost per 1 square feet is 1800 rupees. Ok? Which means that per 1 square feet, you have to pay 1800 rupees. And it will include both materials and labor cost of 1 square feet. Right? So this is for 1 square feet. Now for 1200 square feet, the total construction cost is equal to 1200 multiplied by 1800 and it will become 21 lakh and 60,000 rupees. Right? Now this is only the construction cost of this house. And apart from the construction cost, I have to find out the cost of water supply the cost of electricity work and also the cost of gas supply as well. Ok? So next is the cost of electricity work, the cost of water supply like sanitary work and gas supply work. Ok? And also I will add some percentage of contingency to the total cost of the house as well. Now for the electricity work in any house, we usually take 8% to the total construction cost of house. Here the total construction cost of house is 21 lakh and 60,000 rupees. So the cost of electricity work in this house is equal to 8 divided by 100 because I have to remove the percent from 8 and then multiply it with 21 lakh and 60,000. And the total cost of electricity work will become 1,72,800 rupees. Right? So the total cost of electricity work in this house is 1,72,800 rupees. Next is the cost of water supply. Now by water supply, I actually means that the cost of sanitary work in house. And for the sanitary work, we normally take 8% of total construction cost of house. So the total cost of sanitary work is equal to 8 divided by 100 and multiply by 21 lakh and 60,000. And the total cost of sanitary work or water supply will become 1 lakh 72,800 rupees. Ok? Next is the cost of gas supply. Now for gas supply, we usually take 4% of the total construction cost. Ok? So the total cost of gas supply is equal to 4 divided by 100 
and multiply by 21 lakh and 60,000. And the total cost of gas supply will become 86,400 rupees. Right? Now I have the construction cost of house, the cost of electricity work, the cost of water supply, and also I have the cost of gas supply. Right? And if I add all these, then I will get the total cost of this house. So the total cost of this house is equal to the total construction cost which is 21 lakh and 60,000 plus the cost of electricity work which is 1 lakh 72,800 plus the cost of water supply which is 1 lakh 72,800 plus the cost of gas supply which is 86,400. And the total cost of this house will become 25 lakh and 92,000 rupees. Right? Now it doesn't mean that you have to spend exactly 25 lakh and 92,000 rupees on the construction of this house. I mean the amount of money can increase after the construction is started. Okay? So for that, normally we take 3% contingency rate to the total cost of house. So the amount or cost of contingency is equal to 3 divided by 100 and multiply by total cost of house which is 25 lakh and 92,000 rupees. And the total amount of contingency will become 77,760 rupees. Okay? Now I will add the amount of contingency to the total cost of the house which is equal to 25 lakh and 92,000 plus 77,760 and finally the total rough cost of this house will become 26 lakh 69,760 rupees. Okay? So now I can say that on the construction of this house, I have to spend 26 lakh 69,760 rupees. Okay? So this is how you can easily do the rough cost estimation of any house within few minutes if you remember the percentage of each materials used in the construction of a house. And also if you watch this video completely. Now before I end this video, if you find this video informative, then please click on the like button, share it with your friends, and if you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button, and also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. See you in the next video.